Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our videos on genetics. We have discussed certain genetic disorders in our previous videos. Here we are going to start with the chromosomal disorders. The ones, the disorders, the genetic disorders which are due to any chromosomal change, addition, deletion, we'll talk about it. So due to any chromosomal disorder, there are three basic uh, diseases which we talk about, Turner syndrome, Klenfenter syndrome and we talk about uh, Down syndrome. So here we are going to talk about Downs and Klenfenter syndrome. In our next video, we'll talk about Turner's syndrome. So uh, watch the video till the end because at the end you will get all your answers here on the board which you can use for your notes. So we'll quickly start. Down's syndrome. Uh, Down syndrome. If suppose you um, you have uh, you you have any time got a chance to go to a uh, an orphanage with mentally retarded children, most of the children there they suffer from Down's uh, syndrome. You could easily find out that they are suffering from Down syndrome by observing their facial characteristics. Because in Down syndrome, the lips they just protrude out, the forehead is very broad, and there is mental retardation digits the hands are very very small and uh, you know the IQ is very low so we'll we'll write also so this this is how you identify that the person is suffering from Down syndrome but yes of course you have to go through the uh, genetic makeup of an individual to find out exactly that from which syndrome the person is suffering so we, we, we talk about Down's syndrome first first of all this is caused this is also called as trisomy of 21st chromosome so you can clearly see we are talking about the 21st chromosome which is an autosome so we are not talking about the sex chromosomes here so it is an autosomal disorder herein the factor of this downs or you can say it is related to the change in uh, autosomes not the sex chromosome we are not talking about this it is not related to anything related to sex chromosome it's an autosomal disorder because we have 22 pair of autosome fine and out of these 22 pair the 21st pair of chromosome has this change and what is that change 21st pair of chromosome has an additional extra chromosome present here that is why it's called as trisomy of 21st chromosome so that means 21st chromosome will have an additional extra chromosome with it and that is why it leads to this downs syndrome fine it's an autosomal disease i've told you how, why we call it autosomal because there is an additional x chromosome with the autosomes now what are the you know um, what are the traits or symptoms which we can observe symptoms symptoms for down's syndrome the first one as i told you very low iq intelligence quotient is very very low mental retardation mentally retarded lips protruding out lips protruding and also they have very small digits when i say digits i am talking about all the fingers and the thumb usko alag alag nahi bolte that fingers and thumb fingers and thumb no we use the word digits so the digits that means the finger and some thumb are comparatively small so these are the symptoms which appear for down's syndrome now we move to our next chromosomal abrasion or chromosomal disorder that is klenfenter's syndrome now this is a syndrome wherein this was an autosomal disorder. This is a sex chromosome. Sex chromosomal disorder. That means the change is going to take place in the last one sex chromosome. Fine. Now herein we all know that the females they have x and x chromosome and the males they have x and y chromosome fine herein what happens this is a female and the male in this scenario what happens this male is going to have an extra 
X chromosome, sorry, this is a male. Extra X chromosome here. Fine. It will have an extra X chromosome. This is a condition which is known as, which leads to Klenfenter's syndrome. Now, how does it appear? What is the thing which we miss? What is the thing that is there? What are the symptoms which appear? Now, it is a male with female characters. I'll tell you one scenario now. Generally, in a female, when we talk about this normal female, both the axes are not active only one x is active and if you see the female cells there is one x active and the other x it forms a darkly stained body here which is known as bar body if you if you uh, when you uh, you know uh, there is a test for bar bodies in senior classes also you do that when you scrape off you know uh, cheek cells and then study bar the, the cells which will be from a female will have a darkly stained as a drumsticks bhi bolte hai is there in the cell which you can identify the cells which i am observing are female cells but if you take those same scrapings from the males you will never get a bar body in it so the males they do not have the bar body fine so this bar body is you know i i i uh, i have recalled of an in incident when when we were in our uh, post grads so we had this bar body wala experiment in our uh, syllabus and we were performing it practically so what happened is that uh, you know um, there was a uh, we were uh, we had a few boys in our class so they used to you know they they used they didn't do the practical and they just uh, you know asked us ki apna slide de do we'll just show so this happened and uh, what happened is like I don't know accidentally or what happened. So one girl uh, gave the slide to the boy and he was there with the professor showing him the slide. He was like, Aapke cells mein bar body hai? So he could, he, he could clearly guess that this slide hai, he has taken it from a girl. So what I'm trying to tell you is you will never observe this bar body in a male cells. It's only present in the female cells because one X chromosome of the female is always active whereas the other always converts into a darkly stained bar body around the cell. So this is something which is a normal situation. In this situation, what happens? Now we'll specifically talk about Klenfenter syndrome. What happens? We have this X, we have another X and Y. So according to this situation, it's a male. But it shows gynecomestia. I have this, I'll write this term here. This male shows gynecomastia. That means fem it's a male but shows female like characters like uh, enlargement of breasts, voice like females. So these are some symptoms which appear. How does this uh, you know express in a cell if we make a cell for this. Now herein x one x is functional y is there and an additional x is there which appears as a bar body. Fine. So, ye X and Y which is there, it shows that it is a male. But according to this, it has female characteristics also. This is how it appears in the cell. So, Klenfenter syndrome is when it's a, it's a male. It has a Y chromosome. It's a male. But it possesses or, or it shows gynecomestia. So, when we talk about the symptoms, that would be enlargement of breasts voice change fine so these are certain feminine characters which will be appearing in that male so we have talked about two chromosomal disorders down syndrome and Klenfenter syndrome we'll be talking about turner syndrome in our next video so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you